Today I'd like to share with you how I grow watercress and I grow it inside my home. I have it fresh there that I can just cut it and enjoy receiving all of the wonderful nutrients that this beautiful herb offers. It was recently studied and it ranked number one against 47 other vegetables for nutrient density. So the, here is the list of some of the vegetables that it was compared against. Of course it came in number one. I've also shown you how to grow some of these other ones such as spinach and parsley in my how to grow videos along with leaf lettuce which was a video I did for you last week. I hope to also show you Chinese cabbage soon. That's one of my favorite vegetables to grow. So I've been growing watercress since March of 2014 inside my home. So here I'm growing it as a microgreen and the most beautiful thing I think about growing watercress is you can just grow it as a microgreen but when you cut it it will grow back so I just cut off the very tip ends and just enjoy having it around because it requires so little work anytime that you can cut something and it just continues to regrow it just makes our life as gardeners so much easier so anyway, let's go ahead and let's take a look at how we can begin to plant this and get it growing in your home. So we'll need some basic supplies. Go ahead and start saving any of these little containers that you might be buying lettuce or spinach in and save the lid too. We'll need some hydroponic rocks and I will leave a list below the video of all of these supplies. You can get these on Amazon. If you'll order through my link, I'll get a little bit of credits. Maybe some pennies will head over my way and I can do more of these videos for you. And then we also will need rock wool. This is what we use to plant in whenever we're growing hydroponically. So we'll take a little iron here that I got this at Harbor Freight for $4.00. And so we just need to put some holes in our tub. You'll go on the bottom and then about halfway up the sides of the tub. And we'll go ahead and put some of our rocks in here. This is just a growing medium. Okay, so we're just going to grow our watercress in rocks. I went ahead and prepared my rock wool according to the package instructions. Real easy to do. You just wet it with a little bit of acid like lemon juice. And now we can put our seeds on there. I just want to make sure they have good contact with the rock wool. The seeds are very, very tiny. So I planted them around November 29th. At this point, I just want to cover them so they'll stay moist and you might need to mist them if you feel like they're drying out, but if you have a lid on them, that's going to help them germinate. I like to put mine in my grow system, but you can also put them outside somewhere. Watercress can be grown outdoors, but just don't let it sit in the hot sun. Put it somewhere like in some shade. And if you don't have uh, the grow system that I showed you how to make last week, you can easily just get a grow light uh, I suggest getting the gooseneck grow lights that clip on. So you could put this on a table, maybe a countertop, and you could just um, direct that grow light onto your plants. You can also grow other things and move it up as your plants grow. And it's nice and neat and clean looking. And I think they're only around $15 on Amazon. So I'll leave a link to where um, I saw one of these reviewed on YouTube and um, it seemed to work great. I've not personally used one. Um, apparently the reviews are really good. And so about a week later, you will probably notice that they have germinated, you know, provided that your seeds are new and they're not old. And then a little while later, it's going to be time to put them in some nutrient solution. So let's go ahead and put a few rocks down in another tub that does not have holes in it. And this, the rocks or the shells are just going to provide a little space for oxygen around the top tub which has the holes in it. So fill up your nutrient solution until you see water um, just there at the rocks. This is what it will look like not too much longer. It grows pretty fast. Now we can also just divide some of our watercress plants. 
So this is one that I had already been growing. And so what I want to do is I want to make about two more tubs full of watercress, okay? So make sure to give it a really good haircut and enjoy yourself a nice big watercress salad. And now we can just pull, gently pull the plants apart. You could even just cut them apart. Um, it's a very resilient plant too, okay? So go ahead, I put four in this tub and I took a couple of others and I put them in another tub and we just want to make sure that those vines are kind of down at the rock level and I'll show you why here in just a minute, but go ahead and continue the process again this way. Go ahead and fill it up with your nutrient solution and I'll show you the nutrient solution once we get to the water and feeding part of the video. Just put this somewhere where it can get some light and in no time at all you'll be able to enjoy your propagated watercress too. You can see that it grows much faster when you just divide it and propagate it like that. Now I've also started it in the little cup system that I showed you for the um, indoor lettuce growing system and this is just a way you can get it growing but it will not do well in just a cup and I'll show you why. Um, watercress really needs to root down as it grows into water, okay? Um, it'll have little roots that'll start to come out from the little vine there, and it's just searching for water. So just make sure that you put it in a bigger, like a tub or something, if you want to start it in the cup, and then just move it out later, and that way it'll just spread, and you can also take a cutting off of it. You'll notice there'll be roots on it, and you can also put that in some water and not much longer from there probably about four days later you will notice it will grow a nice root system and you can go ahead and put that in rocks too and let it grow and spread so let's go ahead and look at how we're going to care for it I mentioned a hydroponic solution and this is um, for any time that you grow plants in water you'll need to use a hydroponic solution I just mix it up I put about two teaspoons per gallon and if you ever notice that your tubs are getting a little bit dry go ahead and fill it up with water you should see water at the rock level okay you always want to see um, water right there where the rocks are but you don't want to drown your plants either so just keep it filled up like that we'll also want to aerate it by just pulling it up occasionally and this will force oxygen down into the water so it doesn't get stagnant you'll want to clean the tubs about every three months because we are using a very mild nutrient solution but if you were to use one that's stronger you would have algae growth and you're still going to probably have a little bit but, but because we're using a mild nutrient solution you won't notice much but you'll still need to keep your tubs cleaned out about every three months just take your plants out and clean them out that way harvesting is so easy I like to just cut off the top of the plants you can let them get as big as you want to um, you can harvest them when they're very tiny and so I just like those little top leaves and I put them on just about everything that I eat <laughs> so this is the size that I usually will harvest them at you know just a baby watercress of course if you buy some of this in the store it's always the real big watercress but like I said you can let it get big if you want to but I just cut off the little top ends and it will continue to regrow And of course there's an endless way to use watercress in the kitchen I love it raw I don't really cook it much but I'll eat it on sandwiches and little wraps or tacos and of course with uh, this little beef and um, Chinese cabbage dish it was wonderful and then on just some curry noodles with a little bit of shrimp there I usually just put it on top of everything that I eat and it gives just a little nice crunch along with a tiny bit of a peppery flavor and it's just really good of course 
always is good with some fresh picked lettuce and then a little watercress. Really good. So I'm putting together a playlist just to give you some ideas of ways that I use watercress in my kitchen. So please head on over to my channel. You're welcome to check out my playlist section over there. And as always, feel free to share this on your favorite social media. I sure appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day. Thank you.